Trick or treat. Whoa, man, that is not cool. Your costume is like super racist. Racist? Yeah, Mexican's a culture, not a costume, and you're culturally appropriating it. Actually, it's not just a Mexican. It's Mexican singer, songwriter, and cultural icon, Vicente Fernandez. What? Winner of three Grammy Awards, eight Latin Grammy Awards, 14 Lo Nuestro Awards, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah, okay, but still dressing him up like a Mexican stereotype, all ay 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 is like super offensive. No, this is how we looked and dressed. Wait, is that real? Maybe the offensive thing is you consider a great artist like Vicente Fernandez nothing more than a generic Mexican stereotype. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, dude, you're gross. Just like your cheap ass candy. Hi there, trick-or-treaters. I'm sure you're worried about potentially offending people with your Halloween costume. No one wants to be accused of cultural appropriation or outright racism. That's why I'm here to show you a simple loophole. It's not racist if it's specific. Step one, pick a culture that fits your body type. Thanks to those Pilates classes, you'd look damn good in a loincloth. Step two, find a specific member of that culture. Step three, research their life and accomplishments. The more details you know, the better. Red Cloud's dying words, they promised to take our land and they took it. Whoa. If you do your in-depth research, you can dress as whomever you want because you will be totally prepared to handle moments like this. Trick or treat, come on. You can't just dress like a cartoon Native American. I am Red Cloud of the Sioux Tribe, otherwise known as the Makpia Luta, one of the most capable warriors the US Army has ever faced. I spent a lifetime fighting for the rights of my people. And this is how you see me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why? I wouldn't trade beads for your cheap ass candy. Why be a sexy white woman this Halloween when you could be a sexy geisha? I am Mineko Iwasaki. At my peak, I was the highest earning geisha in Japan. By the time I retired at 29, I had entertained Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Charles, and former US Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. Just take my candy. What would the sexiest geisha in history want with your cheap ass candy? I don't even know who I am anymore. Now that's how you get away with cultural appropriation. So, who are you planning on culturally appropriating this Halloween? Or Purim? Let us know in the comments. Hey, you wanna grab some tacos? What? Vicente Fernandez loves tacos. He's right. That's historically accurate. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you really like the video, you can even support We The Internet TV on Patreon. Check out the link in the description below.